Hey everybody, how's it going today? Rob here. Today we're going to be discussing reloading after every kill. Now, <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about when you get a kill, you reload after it. I know this sounds very simple, but we all do it. Simple mistakes. Simple mistakes turn into simple habits. Simply bad habits at the end of the day. Now, we need to fix this because it's a problem. I'm going to tell you why it's a problem. So you're playing a game. Of Call of Duty. As we all do. As we all like to do when we get home from work. You know, you're having a bad day. You're having a good day. Doesn't matter. You want to play some Call of Duty. And, you know, you're trying to get into a game. You're trying to get a good KD. Keep that streak going. Play really good. I'm mainly discussing pubs here. This can also apply to Warzone. But um, you're going for a streak and, you know... You're thinking in your head, you're thinking in your head, you just got a kill and you're like, okay, I better reload because if I come up on somebody and I don't have enough ammo, I'm going to die, it's going to ruin my streak. But I'll tell you what, the frequency of that happening compared to you reloading after a kill and getting killed because of your reloading, it's way higher chance that you're going to get killed while you're reloading than preemptively reloading because you don't want to get killed because you're not going to have enough ammo if that makes sense. Okay, so it's a big problem because it's going to affect your chances of getting higher streaks, therefore leading to a lower KD. And I know some people don't care about their KD, but for those of you who like having a good KD like me and consider that um, some a goal of theirs, then you want to eliminate this bad habit. So I'm going to explain to you how to fix the problem. I'm going to give you four simple tips that will help you fix this problem. And you could use one of them, you could use all of them, whatever you need to, to fix the problem at hand. Um, so yeah, let's get into the four, the four tips or tricks to fix your reloading after every kill problem or bad habit. All right, tip number one, pretty simple, just use extended mags. Nine out of 10 guns in the game have extended mags. And what this is going to do is give you more ammo. And this is going to give you more security and a better feeling that after one kill, you'll have enough to kill another person because you have a bigger, larger ammo, ammo pool to shoot from. So let's say a kill takes you anywhere from six to ten bullets. In your head, you should be thinking, okay, um, that's like another two more kills before I get to like the bullet range where I want to reload. Because most people probably reload around, I don't know, like 10 bullets. That's when, if they see 10 bullets on the count, they're like, oh, I better reload or I won't have enough to kill somebody. Even though, realistically, you can kill someone in like 5, 5 to 6, even less than that for some guns. But Extended Mags just really helps because it gives you that feeling in your mind that uh, it lowers your worriedness about that, your anxiety that you're not going to have enough ammo. Okay, tip number two. Practice aiming. Now... <laughs> kind of a broad tip but the reason why you feel like you have to reload is because you probably don't have that many bullets left in your magazine like like I was saying before like you probably only have 10 bullets left and you're not confident that you're going to be able to hit those five to six shots so in increase your aim efficiency um, what this is going to do is you're not going to need to use as much ammo because your aim is more accurate therefore you will have more ammo left after you get a kill. Now this is easier said than done, but there's lots of videos out there on YouTube that teach you how to increase your aim. Just to give you a quick mini side tip, I would suggest playing around maybe with your sensitivity, um, doing warm up matches before you actually go into pubs, um, playing with your uh, aim down sight speed sensitivity, or not your aim down sight speed sensitivity, but your aim down sight sensitivity. That's how you say it, <laughs> ADSS, I guess. Um, I use like a 0 0.5 to, uh, sorry, 0 0.85 to 0 0.89, roughly. Um, basically just slows down your sensitivity when you're aiming in. Um, but yeah, try and, and practice your aiming. It will really help. Tip number three, trust in your abilities when you're playing Call of Duty. I can't explain to you guys enough the value of believing in yourself i know this sounds corny but if you believe that you're a good player you will perform better there's some sort of psychological science behind this 
can't exactly tell you what it is, but if you believe you are the best Call of Duty player in the game, if you think you are an MLG god, <laughs> you're going to play better. I promise you guys. You can't be going into the games think you're going to lose. And a lot of you guys, when you get down or you get, you know, sad because you're losing games or you get depressed, can't let that affect you. You got to just be like, all right, next game I'll do way better. If you need to make stupid excuses that, you know, aren't really true or related to the problem, do it. If that makes If that keeps your confidence up. Whatever you need to do. Because I'm telling you right now, it will really help. Tip number four. If you don't want to use extended mags, if you don't trust your abilities, and your aiming is not the greatest, try using sleight of hand. Sleight of hand will reduce the time it takes to reload. It will decrease the time of the animation. And it will increase the likeliness that you'll be done the reload animation by the time an enemy appears. And <laughs> hopefully that will fix the problem for you. And like I said before, you can combine these tips. Um, you know, you could use all four if you want. You could use the Santa Mags with sleight of hand and see how that works out for you. Whatever you need to do. And that's it, guys. I hope we can all destroy this bad habit we have when we play Call of Duty of reloading after every kill. I hope this video helped you guys. If you want more videos like this, comment down below. Like and subscribe. See ya.